The most expensive art pieces. How much are you willing to pay for a captivating piece of art? There's no denying the power of a breathtaking painting. It can evoke a variety of emotions and even act as the centerpiece of a room. But, at what cost? For some collectors, the sky's the limit in terms of what they are willing to pay in the name of good art. Year after year, auction houses and private galleries see record-breaking sales for works from both old masters, think Leonardo da Vinci and Rembrandt, and 20th century luminaries like Jackson Pollock and Pablo Picasso. Here, we take a look at some of the most expensive paintings ever to be sold in art history. Discover which Andy Warhol painting sold for a record-setting price at Christie's and the controversy behind the world's most expensive painting below. Here, the most expensive paintings in the world. Before we start the video make sure to like and subscribe to our channel then you will not miss our new video. 1. Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci. This piece by Leonardo da Vinci painted in the 1500s was often put under the radar for its authenticity. The art world is still divided whether it's da Vinci's real work or the work of one of his skilled students. Regardless, it fetched a hefty $450 million at a Christie's auction in 2017. The piece was bought by the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud through his Minister of Culture. The painting was due to be displayed at the Louvre Abu Dhabi, however, it was later cancelled. It's rumored to have been held up on a Saudi prince's yacht and reserved for display at Saudi's very own future cultural center in Al Ula, according to the Wall Street Journal. Salvatore Mundi, meaning, savior of the world, in translation, holds the distinction of being the most expensive painting in the world. However, it is not without controversy. Numerous scholars raise doubts about the sole authorship of Leonardo da Vinci, pointing out that certain aspects of the composition do not entirely align with da Vinci's recognized style. A thorough analysis conducted by the Louvre in 2018 revealed that the artwork seems to have evolved gradually, with Leonardo potentially adding the hands and arms at a later stage. This discovery has sparked debates and discussions within the art community, adding to the mystique surrounding this renowned masterpiece. 2. Interchange by Willem de Kooning. Regarded as the artist's artist, Dutch-American artist Willem de Kooning shaped the abstract expressionist style with his gestural works often based on based on figures, landscapes, and still life. Interchange represents the shift in de Kooning's work from painting mostly women to more abstract urban landscapes. The focal point of the piece is the pink center, which represents a woman reclining amongst a busy background. Kenneth C. Griffin acquired the oil painting for $300 million from the David Geffen Foundation in September of 2015. 3. The Card Players by Paul Cezanne. During the 1890s, Paul Cezanne created a series of five works depicting labor workers playing cards. The calm nature of the painting, which depicts two men immersed in a game, is a departure from Cezanne's previous dramatic and colorful works. While most paintings in the series are displayed at museums throughout the world, this particular one was bought by the royal family of Qatar for $250 million in 2011. 4. Nafia Faa Ipoipo, by Paul Gauguin. Nafia Faa Ipoipo, translated to, When Will You Marry, is one of the first paintings Paul Gauguin painted after his first trip to Tahiti in 1891. The painting focuses on a native young woman donning a white flower in her hair. In traditional Tahitian culture, a flower in the hair indicates the person is ready for marriage, and her mother sitting protectively over her. It was originally reported that the gauging painting was sold by Swiss businessman Rudolf Stachelin to a Qatari buyer for $300 million. However, a lawsuit in 2017 later revealed the painting only sold for $210 million. 5. Number 17A by Jackson Pollock. A leader in the abstract expressionist movement, Jackson Pollock rose to fame for his drip technique, where Pollock would pour paint onto canvas, often laid onto the floor, as a way to convey emotion through movement. Number 17A, an abstract painting featuring a kaleidoscope of colors across a fiberboard canvas, is one of Pollock's early works featuring this technique. Billionaire Kenneth C. Griffin bought the painting in 2015 for $200 million from the David Geffen Foundation. 6. The Standard Bearer by Rembrandt. Touted as one of Rembrandt's most vibrant masterpieces, The Standard Bearer is a 1636 self-portrait of the Dutch Golden Age artist. 
The painting once belonged to England's King George IV before the Rothschild family acquired it in 1844. In late 2021, the Dutch government announced it planned to purchase the artwork from the Rothschilds for the country's national collection. The painting was finally sold to the Netherlands for 175 million euros, around 198 million dollars, in 2022 and has since been on special display at museums throughout the country. 7. Shot Sage Blue Maryland by Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol's shot Sage Blue Maryland shook the art scene when it sold for just over $195 million to American art dealer Larry Gagosian during Christie's sale in 2022. A signature work in his oeuvre, Warhol created the painting, which is part of a five-painting series, using a silk screen technique and a cropped publicity photo from the film Niagara. The series earned its name after performance artist Dorothy Podber famously came to Warhol's studio and shot at four of the paintings with a pistol. They were subsequently repaired, but the name remained. 8. Number 6 Violet Green and Red, by Mark Rothko, 186 million United States dollars. Completed in 1951, Mark Rothko's number 6 exemplifies his signature style with two expansive areas of vibrant violet and red, separated by a band of soothing green. The edges of each color softly blend, giving the impression that the assertive hues naturally fade into one another. In 2014, this remarkable artwork set a new record for the painter when it was privately sold for an astounding $186 million. The painting, a masterpiece by the famous Russian-American abstract expressionist Mark Rothko, found its way into the possession of Russian billionaire Dmitry Rybolovlev. The acquisition was made from Yves Bouvier, who later faced numerous international lawsuits for allegedly misrepresenting and overcharging for several artworks, including number 6. Interestingly, it was revealed that Bouvier initially acquired the painting at approximately half the price before selling it to Rybolovlev, pocketing a considerable difference in the process. Rothko's number 6 continues to be revered as a captivating example of his profound artistic vision and influential contributions to the abstract expressionist movement. Its record-breaking sale price reflects the enduring allure and value placed on Rothko's emotionally charged and spiritually evocative works. 9. Portraits of Merton Sulmans and Upen Coppet by Rembrandt van Rien. The pair of full-length wedding portraits of Martin Sulmans and Upen Coppet were completed by a young Rembrandt in 1634. Unlike other 17th-century portrait pairs, the two paintings have been kept together since their creation. The Rothschild family came into possession of the portraits in 1878 and later sold the pieces through Christie's to two museums, the Louvre and the Rijksmuseum. The two European museums take turns displaying the portraits, ensuring they will never be separated. 10. Water Serpents II by Gustav Klimt. Completed in 1907, Water Serpents II is the second in a series depicting the sensual nature of the female form. During World War II, the lavishly decorated painting was confiscated from Jewish collector Jenny Steiner by the Nazis and given to a Nazi filmmaker. The piece reappeared in the public eye when it was put up for auction by Sotheby's in 2015. After a couple of changes of ownership, the painting was sold once more in 2017 to an undisclosed buyer for $170 million. It's now on display at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. If you find this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.